Welcome, I'm from Mixer Realme X3 Super Zoom and today I will show you how to enable and set up the portable hotspot. And to get started we will need to pull down the notification panel and find the hotspot. So it looks like it's right over here. So let's hold it and actually begin with changing the settings. Um, so when you hold it, it will take you to the settings. From here, go to personal hotspot settings and change something like the password. By default, just some kind of randomly generated password. So it's not gonna be anything uh, easy to remember, but you can change it if you want to. And in terms of password, it needs to have at least eight characters in length. And the name of it, you can change it as well if you want to. Um, so choose whichever name you want. Um, then you have the AP band. Uh, I would suggest to go with a 5 GHz one, assuming your device that you will be using to connect to this uh, supports it. Uh, and here we only have the choice between one or the other. We can't have both, so that's a little bit of a shame. But once you select it, and for instance, you can see uh, the network at all once it's enabled uh, that means that your device might be just a little bit too outdated to support the 5 gigahertz now i'll also mention that the uh, 5 gigahertz uh, band right here uh, it is strictly for the wi-fi and it has nothing to do with uh, phones for instance uh, having the 5 gigahertz um, cellular like 5g phones are released now so these are completely two different uh, things um, and also we have visible to other devices. Make sure that this is enabled, otherwise you will have to put in the name and then the password manual yourself. It won't be visible in the list. From there, simply tap on save and you can now enable it. So you can do it either from here or also from the notification panel where the toggle was. And when you enable it, you also have the notification right here. It shows you that it's enabled and if you connect to it, it will also show you that uh, X amount of devices uh, are connected to this hotspot and you can manage them, remove them, block them if you want to. Um, so yeah, that is how you would manage the hotspot settings along with the hotspot itself. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and thanks for watching.